Ice Dab is a message of hope. Again, a message of hope is you can remember since I took over, we have done a lot, a lot. Some Sierraleans view the police as one of the most corrupt institutions in the country. What are the thoughts of the Inspector General of Police on this perception? Beyond Borders, Mohamed Amaragando caught up with the Inspector General of Police, Dr. Ambos Michael Sovola, for a candid interview on the operations of the police. Responding to questions on what Sierraleans should expect from the police in 2022, Ayu Sovola said quality service delivery. It's quality service delivery. And with their cooperation, I'm sure the Sierra Leone police will be able to provide such service for them. And with quality service for all means there is some peace and tranquility that will foster development in society. Speaking on some of his successes, since he has assumed office, Dr. Sovola revealed that under his leadership, the government of Sierra Leone has put out about 25% salary increment for the police, which have already started rolling out in 2021. Ah, well, that could be determined by my viewers because they would see what are tangible successes is. Uh, when I took over as Inspector General of Police, I made some analysis and I saw the need for training because there was knowledge gap. A lot of capacity building I have done, sent some people uh, at strategic uh, command level to the Republic of Nigeria. I think about 20 people have done such training a lot of other things like uh, the welfare of the police that I think is very important and paramount because when you address the welfare of the personnel working meaning you have given him the motivation for him to give his best I think we've able to do that kind of thing um, you can see the uniform the OSs are neatly dressed. You see them. Those are all achievements. Let's come back to our rice supply. Before now, it was a huge challenge. But I was able to convince government. By our service, since government was convinced that there was need for them to address our rice supply issue, which was our welfare issue. If I can talk about salary, Government of Sierra Leone has put 25% increment for the police. It is during my tenure. Yeah? Senior police officers are now being addressed by a monument that can befit their status. It's an achievement. You we are just looking at my board here. You will be seated there. You can watch at Port, at Kington, at Lombly. That is uh, smart policing, yeah? We are trying to see how best we can capture the whole of free time. Then we can now replicate to the south, the north, the east. That can help aid the police in their investigation, in their prevention of crime, yeah? These are some of the successes there. He also highlighted some of his challenges. He said... One of their biggest challenges is the cooperation of Sierra Leoneans. The world over challenges are there in policing because it is not enough. Whatever the resources government will apportion to the police will not be enough because policing is dynamics. Policing is everywhere, every facet involve policing activities. By and large, government has done some vehicle purchases but two years, three years ago. But we need more. When you look at the terrain of Sierra Leone, you look at the northern part, Kabbalah, 
some part of Konon, you look at those areas, there is need for a strong vehicular, strong fleet requirements that can help the police. Those could be challenges, yeah. And uh, sometimes, one of the major challenges is um, the public cooperation. Hence, we are taking the police into the public for them to own the police. It is the Sierra Leone police. Yeah? You can critique us. But where there is need to support us so that together we can build a better Sierra Leone as a security, secure state that we attract investors, visitors, tourists to come and invest in the country is very necessary. That trust we are trying to build is some amount of challenge. Um, you remember we fought 11 year senseless war. The aftermath of the war brought about much of lawlessness because drugs have been coming into the country and youths are engaged in drug taking. That one is also coupled up with some um, politicians because they will buy for them drugs and use them for some purposes. Yeah? And uh, the lawlessness is all over. We will be able to curb that menace with the cooperation of everybody. Systematic cooperation of everybody will be able to help the police to able proactively deter those intentions of bad guys in the country. Um, corruption, or sometimes I call it traffic misbehavior, because if you can collect 2,000 leons from a bike rider or a keke rider, that's completely misbehavior. I, I will not deny the fact that that is not happening, but we are trying to see how best we can capacitate we can train the policemen to be professional. We want to teach them in ethics and organizational ethos so that they will be able to understand as a professional police that my behavior should not influence the public to critique the police badly. We are aware of it and we are developing concepts. Yes, that's the belief of people and I will not challenge it. We train the police more. We get them trained, we get them trained, 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 and trained. Once the person is trained and is well loaded, he's being informed about what to do and what not to do, and grounded in that, we will be able to minimize it. Yeah? And um, I can assure the Sierra Leoneans that the type of reforms we are trying to do in the police, we try to minimize that to its ebb. But let the public also cooperate with the police administration. Co corruption is from two ways. There is a giver, there is a taker. Please discourage the taker and make sure you abide with the law. It doesn't give opportunity for the taker to take. But report to the police administration when such situation is about to happen. With that, helping us will be able to reduce it drastically in the police. Yes. It's systematic cooperation of all of us. Even when we train the police, we train the police. But if they are not having cooperation from the public, for us to overcome that means will be a huge challenge. I am therefore urging, appealing to the public to cooperate with the police. You can critique us. But don't lose confidence in us. After all, the police will not win. But support us so that we can give the necessary service delivery that is required. We are liable to change. It's only God and fools that cannot change. But the police, we are trainable, we are changeable. And we will change for the better. The anti-corruption or the white paper did not mention any policeman about corruption. Hence, I was calling it traffic misbehavior. That is why probably we are getting F. In corruption, all, every year the audit department give kudos to Sierra Leone police when they audit us because we are purely, properly managing our resources. 
For those traffic misbehavior or investigators misbehavior at either CID, family support or the traffic, training we make sure that will be reduced drastically because we will train you for you to understand that your integrity matters most. If you want to become a police, you make sure you behave professionally. If you don't, then you don't have place in the Sierra Leone police. And I, I tell you, from last year to now, a lot of police uh, misbehavior has been investigated by the, uh, uh, the, 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 the CDIID. And most policemen have been dismissed. Some have been removed entirely from traffic. Some have been reduced in rank. These are the steps that we are taking in order to show that we minimize that. It's a message of hope. Again, a message of hope is, you can remember since I took over, we have done a lot, a lot of activities by ourselves without seeking any international uh, support. And we have been very successful. We have been monitoring the special um, uh, investigation that was set by CO, uh, uh, Commission of Inquiry. It was a huge issue. We have been providing um, police officers at the law court there. We have been providing police officers at the, the Sierra Leone People's Party Convention. We are ready to provide such support to the APC convention and I'm sure we are, be, we are being very successful. So that could be a message of hope for you to hope in the Sierra Leone police that they could be better, especially with the drive we are now taking on capacity building. Okay, uh, Promotion comes from God, but work hard and get hope that once you work hard, if I don't see you, the almighty God have already seen you, something will trigger and you'll be promoted. Hope for the next promotion. Those that have got, to whom much is given, much is expected. You have not been promoted to go and walk parade in the street of free time saying I am this, I am that. It's for you to prove yourself that I have been given a new position, a new responsibility. Serve the people of this country and let them understand that government did not waste their money in promoting you. Promotion is money my expectation, our expectation, the expectation of the people of this country is for us to give the best we could give to create an enabling environment for the government of Sierra Leone to operate and execute their programs. Their programs is very rich. It's talking about how development could be fostered to Sierra Leone to move Sierra Leone from one point to middle income country. They will successfully do that if the police have given them the support to have the enabling environment. And that I have vowed and promised that with my leadership in the Sierra Leone police, we will be able to do that. And once we do that, government will be able to cater for everybody in this country. Then development will come. Last. I will want to be with my children. I will have to go back home. Um, I will have to uh, pay some attention if giving back to universities and schools that have been going. I will be looking at readings. I will be looking about at uh, story writings. You, you, you know, um, that's how I want to spend, and I will do some small scale of business so that I will not lack uh, money because money is everything. So that is how I am planning when I take my exit to enjoy my retirement. And I hope and pray that the Almighty God give me long life to enjoy my, my retirement because I have served and I believe I am serving and I'm serving with all my heart. Irrespective of who you are, I make sure I give you justice. And if you don't have one, then you will be taken for whatever you are brought in for.